Hi, welcome to Home Leisure Direct. I'm Tom. Today we're talking flooring. So we're going to ask the question, what flooring do I need to consider to have when I've got my pool table purchased? So there's lots of different ranges, lots of flooring that you've probably looked at, lots of different options. We're going to suggest in terms of options what works, what doesn't work, and run you through all the bits and pieces there. So in terms of really common flooring types that we install tons of pool tables on, we're going to run you through all of these. So we're talking uh, concrete and lino, we're talking long pile carpet, short pile carpet, carpet tiles, a bit like what we've got here, laminate surfaces, solid wood surfaces, ceramic tiles are a real big consideration when you are doing them, and upstairs installs, they're another big consideration that we've got to look for as well. Concrete and lino, so probably in my opinion one of the best surfaces you can buy for a pool table. It's solid, it's hard, it's not going anywhere. So a few benefits to concrete and lino. One, your pool table's not going to leave an imprint because it's a solid surface. Any table from you know a, a signature tournament that's in and around 230 kilos all the way through to you know a signature Lincoln Rass on Victory 2, you're talking kind of you know 650 kilos. Because they're hard, solid surfaces, you're not going to leave an imprint. So if you do need to move the table for whatever reason, there's going to be no imprints later down the line. Other benefits you're talking is leveling. So your table will be installed by us. Uh, you'll look at a full install service. We'll level it perfectly, make sure it plays lovely. You'll then find that you'll need to re-level it you know, once every now and again, later down the line, just to make sure everything's ready. But realistically, you'll find that that option isn't as bad because the concrete's solid and it's not gonna move. So your table should stay level for more or less its lifetime. Short pile and carpet tiles. So a bit like what we've got here, actually. We've got carpet tiles in here. Um, it's a good surface is the easy answer. There's a couple of considerations you need to think about when you are putting carpet in. So when you're talking carpet, it's obviously slightly soft. So when you put your pool tables on there, it will have to settle slightly. So with short pile, you'll find that once the table's been put in, it'll sit nice and solid. But you will find that over a short period of time, it will eventually have to settle. So the pool table is going to drop in and it's going to leave an imprint in your surface. So you are going to find that if you do move it a little bit later down the line, you will have obviously an imprint from where the feet are leaving it. But in terms of it, generally it's a really good surface actually. We do loads of installs onto carpet. It's just something to consider that when you do install on short pile carpet, that it does need time to settle. It will need to be re-leveled probably shortly afterwards just to kind of let it go once it's settled. But other than that, it's a really good surface in my opinion. Long pile carpets, so little bit similar to what obviously short pile carpets are, but the main difference being they're slightly longer. Um, something to think about with this is because the fibers are longer in them, it's going to compact. So again, it's a soft surface. So it's something we can install a pool table on, we do do it. But with long pile carpet, you'll find that because it's gonna compress more so, the pool table's going to need to be re-leveled more often. It's very much a case of because it's gonna compress, it's got a lot further surface to kind of sit through compared to what a short pile carpet would. So it is something you need to consider that on a long pile carpet, it works, it'll look great, it will leave imprints, but you are gonna need to re-level it simply because it's gonna sink into the surface much further than what it would do on a short pile carpet. Solid wood flooring, really, really good option. Solid wood flooring, it's hard, it looks great, it's just a wonderfully good option. However, something you do need to consider with solid wood is, if you are gonna move your pool table, you've got to think about the feet. So the feet, because they're, you know, most tables are chrome, you're gonna find if you slide the table, there's every chance that you're gonna scratch the flooring. So it'll hold your table fine, it'll look good, it'll obviously be a really good surface, but in terms of it, moving it's the issue. So it won't unlevel the table, it'll keep it solid a bit like what concrete does. Not quite to the same, so you will need to re-level a little bit, but in terms of it, moving the table slightly could scratch the surface. So while solid wood looks great, you don't obviously want to ruin it, so just make sure if you are going to move it, you do it properly, but solid wood's a cracking choice if you are going to go for that. So, laminate. Generally, a really good option. Couple of things to consider with laminate, in our opinion. Uh, laminate, you need to think about what table you're getting. So with smaller tables, kind of your English pool diners, you'll find that they'll sit comfortably on there. They're gonna leave small imprints on the flooring, but they're gonna kind of generally be a little bit smaller in terms of your imprinting. With larger pool tables, something like a little bit like the Lincoln that I'm stood next to now, is something you need to consider a little bit more. So with laminate, because they join, you can find that there can be weak points on there. So where the join sits, you might find there could be weak points. So you can check your laminate samples that you've got from your suppliers, or might be worth checking with your manufacturers just in terms of it because you don't want to risk leaving something heavy on a weak point. But generally, laminate's a really good surface. We've done plenty of installs on laminate and it looks great, so it's a good option if you are considering a table. Ceramic tiled flooring. So, 
probably the biggest consideration you have to make on this. There's a few things you've got to consider. One, size of table. So something big is less suitable than something smaller. So something like a seven foot English Paul Diner, as opposed to kind of something like a nine foot American, in my opinion, would be a better suggestion. They're a little bit lighter and they take up a little bit less surface area. So they're a little bit more suitable when you're sitting on them. The reason I mention this is ceramic tiles are great. They look good. They're wonderful, wonderful things to have on the floor. However, with a pool table, things to consider is once they're in, they get grouted around all the corners. So you've got that nice join all the way around. However, in the center underneath, they technically might not have anything under there so there's a void underneath if you put something heavy directly in the middle like a pool table you can potentially find that you might shatter the tile which you obviously don't want to do so one thing we consider doing when you are looking at it is adjusting the feet position so it's on the grouted corners it's the strongest part of the tile and it's going to offer the most support for any pool table like i said you can look at bigger tables but you really need to be careful with your positioning and it's really worth calling us if you have got ceramic tiles because we'll be able to run through your options with you a little bit more detail upstairs installs question we get asked all the time can you do it in short Yes, the easy answer is, is a pool table, normal pool table is about the weight of three, four people. So if you can have three or four people stood upstairs, you can have a pool table upstairs. Most surfaces like we've already discussed, again, absolutely fine. Things to consider is, is getting it upstairs more so than anything else. We've obviously got another video that talks you through all of that. But if you have got any questions about an upstairs install, please call us, it's really important that you do. But other than that, upstairs installs, yeah, absolutely, no problem at all. So in summary, flooring. It's nice and simple almost in terms of you can put up any pool table on any floor, but you've got to make those considerations that we've spoken about. It's just one of those things you need to think about. In terms of best types, probably solid wood, concrete and lino, but they're obviously more expensive options. And you've got loads of good options that you know you can look at if you need them. The honest answer is the sales team's here. We're more than happy to help you out if you've got any questions at all. So please pick up the phone, give us a call. But thanks for watching. We'll look forward to seeing you next time.